best thing about that is, is you meet so many different people from all over the country at the Willow Oak sale and you know you hear how a lot of them run on an animal unit on one to three acres and here it's between 16 and 18 acres and you know it so it takes a lot more bull power in the Dakotas and Montana I guess that as to you know we they just got to cover more ground more range and you know it it's not like there's a cow every quarter mile away they got they got to travel to keep things working so and these bulls have been really turning out good and that end you know it's the best conception rates that I've ever had next on the American rancher we visit the Kiangas breeder Willow Oak cattle ranch and talk with stockmen that use these genetics And welcome to today's show. Willow Oak Cattle Ranch is a highly successful key Angus breeder that has steadily followed the beef production cycle in their program development. This has led to profitability for Willow Oak customers from all across the nation over the past several years. On this program, we'll visit again with Willow Oak ranch owner Richard Arnold and also travel and see some of these great cattle and find out what stockmen have to say about these genetics. I'm Pam Minnick, and this is The American Rancher. Stay with us. Welcome back to The American Rancher. Willow Oak Cattle Ranch has made Key Angus cattle their business for 30 years. During this time, they've arrived at a highly developed program that has proven itself quite well in beef production. Bottom line genetics for profit-minded producers. This is what Willow Oak Key Angus is all about. They haven't chased fads in breeding that is commonly seen in the beef industry. They've held to their course that is focused on performance, muscling, quality grade, and carcass weight. Richard Arnold wants cattle that work for commercial cattlemen. Particular attention is paid to the fundamentals of actual data, such as structural soundness, temperament, and confirmation. The philosophy at Willow Oak is to develop bulls that will help commercial cattlemen make a living. We have done everything we can to locate the characteristics that we think are the ones that are needed by our customers to make a living. And people are either in one, two, two, one or two categories. They're either in the category of people who retain either somewhat ownership or partial ownership of their cattle, or they are people that are, that are classic cow-calf operators who sell their calves some in a short period of time after weaning. Both of them have the same common characteristics of needing animals that produce red meat and will weigh. And then the people who retain ownership need a third factor, which is the feed efficiency. So we use those characteristics to try to help our customers get to the profit drivers in the cattle business, which are feed efficiency, weight, and muscle composition. The cycle of production at Willow Oak Cattle Ranch begins on the ranch in Rogersville, Tennessee. The rolling pastures there are good grass country with abundant water and shade. These seed stock cattle are well managed and are handled in a manner as they would be on a commercial ranch. The cattle are not halter broke and treated as show cattle. The cows are raised on grass and hay with mineral supplementation, while young bulls are being developed by age and contemporary group. Having identified Angus hybrid cattle as their target, the Willow Oak program began years ago with the selection of top Angus genetics and crossing it with Kianina cattle. 
the bull that we have produced and the bull that we sell in this sale every year, he's going to be sound structurally. He's going to be full of red, long, lean red meat. He is going to be sound headed and level headed with his temperament. He is going to calve easy. And the bull is going to be long lived. He will last about as long as you can use him in your, in your herd. He's going to be, we think, the best bull you can find. We have always started with structure and moved forward into our evaluation of cattle because if they're not structurally sound, all of these things come into play. One of the things that we've been hearing over the few, last few years is that we're, and let me just say it right away, we embrace all this data. Data is an important part of the cattle and beef industry. The EPDs, the actual data, the feed test, the sonogram data, all that stuff is critically important and we do it. But we've been hearing for the last few years from some commercial men that one of the things that has bothered them, it seems that the industry has gone, the commercial industry has gone, or the bull producing seed stock business has gone so far after data that they've forgotten about the commercial rancher and that these bulls actually have to go out and live on ranches and that there's a number of characteristics that they, they notice seem to be sliding away a little bit. And these are what we call practical traits. Jarrett Mayer raises cattle on the Northern Plains near Morristown, South Dakota, oh, which is just across the border from North Dakota. It's rough, big country with harsh winters. Oh, cattle oh, must have the ability to travel to make it on this range. Jarrett has gradually converted his bull battery over to Willow Oak Kiangas and hasn't looked back. I started watching the sale in 2005 and watched a lot of what was going on with the genetics and what Willow Oak was doing in terms of feed efficiency and the longevity of the bulls. And I talked to John Coble and Richard Arnold a lot and I watched them for two years. And then I flew down to the sale and I was really impressed with the set of bulls they had on hand. And so that year I bought 12 of their bulls, brought them home and had really good luck with the way they were going, coming out as far as calving and staying together and holding together in the conception. And the following year, I went 100% into Willow Oak Bulls. And up to date, there's 30 bulls on the ranch. And there's not one of them that is any other sire besides Willow Oak sires. Jarrett Mayer and his family are the fourth generation on the ranch. The whole family takes part in the operation and the kids are learning the cattle business out on the Dakota Plains. The biggest characteristic of the Willow Oak genetics is by far temperament of the bulls and maternal traits on the cows. You know, we've been buying the bulls for the last four to five years and we've been buying some of the replacement heifers and so far the maternal traits on the heifers and the replacement heifers that we've been keeping out of our own cows has been spectacular, you know, and the, the bull's temperament is great. You know, the, the old key breed had kind of a disposition and a temperament problem, and Willow Oak has paid real close attention to keeping that out and very selective on their bulls. When people come and look at our cattle, they are, that's one of the first things they notice is how structurally sound they are, how correct they are, how well they walk and move, and how athletic they are. And we have the performance traits and the practical traits. And one of the practical traits, of course, is temperament. It's tied in utter soundness, longevity potential, uh, uh, the uh, fertility, those all hoof soundness, leg soundness, all those things. You think that the practical traits, they all kind of fit together for an animal to be practically useful. And so we, the reason we've done these evaluations, we want to send a message to our customers that these are important things for us. We know they're important to them. And we take the time to make sure that we've evaluated these animals based on, those, on all of those traits. Willow Oak continues to thoroughly shape their cattle through both indexed and actual data measurements. The cattle work well at all stages of beef production and give ranchers a vigorous package of performance and efficiency. We'll continue the Key Angus story when we return. 
You're watching The American Rancher. Stay with us. Welcome back to the American Rancher. Willow Oak Key Angus cattle continue to gain the attention of today's cattlemen through their performance. Stockmen have seen these cattle prove themselves in the feed yard over and over. The Willow Oak program has been thoroughly shaped over time. This has been done primarily through following the feedlot performance records of their genetics and keeping up with the results of their customers. With this information, they in turn work these findings back into their production cycle for positive impact. Decatur County Feed Yard, outside Oberlin, Kansas, is one of America's most progressive cattle feeding operations. With customers from Texas to North Dakota to Florida and as far as Hawaii, the facility offers stockmen some of the fullest and most detailed profiling in the cattle feeding industry. Dan Dorn oversees supply development. Decatur is a commercial 40,000 head feed yard that specializes in retained ownership direct from the ranch. Decatur is the only feed yard in the country that individually manages the customer's calves through the feeding process, meaning we individually weigh, frame score, ultrasound for back fat on arrival, and about two-thirds of the way through the feeding process, we remeasure and identify the rate of change in an individual animal. Once the system has calculated the rate of change and identified an optimum endpoint, the animal is sorted into outcome groups or harvest groups. Once an animal is harvested, we report to the producer the value of the and carcass traits. Then once all the producer's cattle are harvested, and we ge generate a unique closeout, including summary of the group, and then an individual closeout showing the profitability of an individual calf, and most importantly, net return to the ranch. We've always talked about profit drivers, feed efficiency being number one. In fact, conversion drives 43% of the profitability. Carcass merit or grid value drives 39% of the profitability in a group, and carcass weight drives the remaining profitability. Over the past five years, Decatur County has logged closeout records on some 200,000 head of cattle. Dan Dorn knows the performance of Willow Oak sired cattle from an assortment of customers. The cattle hit all the profit drivers. They gain, they're efficient, and they hang up a really nice carcass. I went back and pulled the Willow Oak groups out of the database and they consistently rank in the top 30% of all the profit drivers. The average rate return to ranch on today's fed cattle market for the Willow Oak sired cattle is $927 a head or $42 a head over the mean. Remember, we're comparing against 200,000 head fed here in the last five years. They're efficient, they have yield and grade, and they grow. Or simply put, they work. Our cattle tend to grade well. 85 to 88% choice is the usual return on it. Our cattle yield well. We don't have yield grade fours and fives. We have some threes, mostly twos and ones. We've had cattle that have actually graded prime. Customers have had cattle that have graded prime with yield grade one carcasses at Decatur County. Overall, Willow Oak customers have done quite well at beef derbies and carcass contests. Willow Oak sired cattle have been documented to average more than 87% choice yield out almost 67%, and factor an adjusted net return of more than $130 per head in carcass competition in recent years. The business of Willow Oak is to produce commercial bulls that go out and help people make a profit in the cattle business. Outside Lubbock, Texas, near the community of Slayton, Dale Kitchens has transformed the weaning weights of his cow-calf operation over the past few years using Willow Oak bulls. But stout calves are not the only benefit he's experienced. We started using uh, Will Oaks bulls back in 2008. I've been in the cow-calf operation since uh, 2000. Uh, we started off as a uh, stalker cattle operation in 1990 and after 10 years switched to cow-calf. And uh, originally was running straight Angus 
and uh, a little disappointed in uh, weaning weights. And of course, we're running mainly a cross bred uh, Angus Lemmy cross cows uh, onto these Willow Oaks bulls. And uh, like that combination better than anything we have come up with so far. Dale is planning on restocking after a tough period of drought. He says he'll be using more willow oak bulls in his operation. I would recommend willow oaks bulls mainly because, number one, they are excellent beef producers. Several of the bulls we bought had a five pound daily gain, which to me was unheard of. When their calves hit the ground, they took off. They looked like, almost like greyhounds when they're little and then they just blew up like balloons. And, and we had some of the heaviest weaned calves that we'd ever had on this uh, cattle operation. Secondly is the handling qualities of those bulls. They are just super handlers. They come off the truck. Every bull that we have worked with just didn't give us a problem. Handled very well, just amazing. And then of course, third, they've covered our herd very well. They've just been super aggressive in working the cows and uh, we've just been happy with the, with the quality of bulls from every aspect of what we were wanting to buy a bull for. We've had a couple of customers that had had some, some issues with some other bulls from a different breed and they bought our bulls and, and they had a real increase in their conception rate. Um, and these were cattle run in open range and wide, wide out. And they found that our bulls tend to go find themselves a group of cows and, and kind of handle them and make sure they get bred instead of the bulls grouping and kind of, uh, you know, not, not, go, not sticking with the cows as closely as they should. Throughout the development of their herd, Willow Oak Cattle Ranch has employed traditional selection methods for breeding, confirmation, temperament, performance, and genetic markers. History has taught them the only method to ensure preservation of the individual improvement is line breeding to narrow the genetic base, thereby improving the chance of offspring improvement. Willow Oak has tested the herd sires and donor cows for scientific reassurance of what their closely monitored breeding program already told them, that Willow Oak bred cattle are free of all known genetic recessive defects and can be used with confidence in any commercial herd in America. One of the common misconceptions in the cattle business is that calving ease has to do with weight. And now the weight is a factor, but the, it, the, the calving ease, and this is our calving ease bull here, we've had over 100 calves out of him, all out of efforts, all unassisted. We, he has is, he is, he is met exactly the expectations we had, and what makes him and what sets him out is his ability to walk and move and how much flexibility he has in his joints. It is the flexibility of those joints and the athleticism of these bulls that make them calving ease bulls. Well, the Willow Oak uh, people are the only ones that I know of that guarantee attitude. I've never bought bulls from anyone else that guaranteed attitude, and they guarantee these bulls will handle well. And I thought when I first heard that, I thought, ah, that's probably not true. But boy, those bulls came off the truck, and it was just amazing how tame and docile they were, and they handled easy, and they worked well, and uh, just very impressed with that. I'd recommend Willow Oak bulls. bulls to anybody in the business. You know, I think they really got a good thing going. They really are key on their maternal traits, their feed efficiency, and in this business, that's probably the two biggest key points that there is. And with the data that they got and the direction they're headed, I think they really got their bulls put together and offer probably the best set of bulls there is on, on the market today. What we hear is, as the data has been emphasized, there's been a trend toward the animals that have been that come from that data to not have as much emphasis on those practical traits. Now, the, on the other hand, if you're paying the, the kind of prices you have to pay for bulls this day, you want them to stay until you're through with them, as opposed to them ha you having to be through with them because they can't stay. Richard Arnold has thoroughly enjoyed the first 30 years of Willow Oak Cattle Ranch the key Angus cattle they have developed, and the numerous ranchers and stockmen they've come to know and work with over time in the beef industry. I enjoy selling bulls to people. I enjoy talking to them over the phone, but I really enjoy getting an opportunity to show them these cattle and these bulls here at the day of the sale. 
We hope you enjoyed our visit with Willow Oak Cattle Ranch. To find out more about us, visit our website, theamericanrancher.com, or check us out on Facebook. We'd love to hear from you. For The American Rancher, I'm Pam Minnick. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.